Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through tables, guys. So basically, I hope everyone knows that this is the one of the most interesting and important question in your examination. So basically, if you are expecting a, a code writing exam, in that 90% of the times they will be giving about tables, guys. So basically, they will be asking sometimes to write to design a timetable using HTML tables. Okay, so in that way. So that is the reason why we will be concentrating on some programs also in our future lectures. I'll be discussing some previous year paper programs so that it will be clear for us. Okay. So in this lecture, I'll be just giving you an overview of table and we'll be taking two examples guys. One is for row span and column span. Okay. Okay. And for normal table as usual, we'll be taking some random normal table. Okay. So basically table. So table is nothing but you will be showcasing it in this way, right? So you'll be taking some columns and rows. Okay. Okay, so the first question that I will be asking you is if I want to fill a table, what will be the best way to fill guys? Should I follow row filling or should I follow column filling or should I follow alternate or randomly? So your answer will be okay. You can select a row or column, but don't take randomly because it will make confusion, right? So row or column, that's fine. So here we will be considering the row filling guys row by row you will be filling. Why I am saying this specifically row, row, row because there is a specific reason for that. You'll be understanding it. Okay. From the syntax, you will be having a clear idea once we are getting into the syntaxes. Okay. Okay. So basically, what does a table has guys? So now I, we understood that we will be filling row wise. So I'll be writing R here, row wise. Okay. Okay. So after filling row wise, what is the, okay, I, I, I will be just drawing lines so that it is row wise. Okay. So what is the next property of a table? So each table will have some heading. So it is not mandatory, but if it will be better or it will be a best idea if, if there is a heading, right? So assume that you are having two columns. I'm just making it just for our understanding. So assume that there are two headings. That is nothing but, okay, you are writing differences between list and table. So that is not a question, guys. Okay. Or assume that uh, what will be the differences will be better, guys. Assume the differences between HTML and CSS will be funny. Okay, so assume that differences between X and Y, there are, there are something. So you are trying to find the differences. So what are these X and Y we are writing here? This is nothing but heading, right? So if there is a heading, you will be specifying the headings. Okay. Okay. So you specified the headings. So now you are done till here. So you specified the heading here. You specified the heading here. So the next values are nothing but the data, right? Okay. So now we here we will be assuming them as data only guys. So because the, those are data, so we'll be remind, remembering them as data. So I'll be writing D here. So if you observe the format which I have written, so this is the format which we will be using guys in HTML to create a table. So that is the reason why, <coughs> sorry. So the reason why everyone says that HTML is a bit easier than any other, any other contest or coding because the things which we design are just clearly mentioned if you understand the concept guys. So basically what I told first you need to first we need to create a table. So first we will be creating a table. Okay, let me write it down here because it will be clear. So table. Okay, after some steps, I'll be closing the table. Okay, so this way I'll be following guys because it will be easy that when where I'm closing and where I'm opening. Okay, so after that I told we will be starting a particular row. Okay. So now I'll be starting a row. Okay. So inside a row, I told there will be inside the first row. We might have headings, right? Okay. So now I'll be starting the first heading. Okay. So the first heading is this part, right? And this will be the second heading. So we are having two columns according to my assumption. So the first column and second column. So I'll be keeping the heading as Y and we are done with the first heading. So I'll be closing it. So again, take the second heading is Y. And I'll be closing the second heading also. So now we are done with the first row. So now you need to move to next row. So let me close this first row. Okay, you closed the row. Now you move to second row. Okay. So now in second row, you assume again you are writing table heading. You will be writing table heading guys? No. Here this is nothing but for table data. So that is the reason why you will be writing TD here. So table data, assume that you got the value 10 here. So you will be closing the table data. Okay. Again you will be opening the table data. And you'll be writing 20 and again you'll be closing the table data and here you'll be closing the row so here in this small code i made a table with x as one column y as one column with a value of 10 and 20 
so remember this code again you should place in our boiler plate code that is nothing but our outline code okay so here we'll be keeping some title and your that code which we wrote we will be writing inside body so we'll be getting a table that's it okay okay so basically remember one more thing guys when you are designing a table sorry when you are coding for table you will not get the border directly guys you'll be getting like this only so to get the border you will be inside table you will be initiating border guys border equal to one pixel so you'll be getting a one pixel thick border remember that this is mandatory you will not get by default you will not be getting you will be getting if you are using some other framework along with html in that cases you will be getting directly by using table only okay okay so now let us go through some theoretical points after that we'll be going through example the given example here okay so in it in html table will create by using the table tag and we'll be closing the table by slash table okay we know that table contain rows and columns those are defined with the tr and td so tr is nothing but to represent the row inside that we will be using the data okay so tr stands for table row which is used to make a row and td stands for table data which is used to fill that particular row is used to make the column okay i think this definition is wrong guys okay so please make sure that you are writing row only so td is nothing but you will be filling row wise right you will not be filling by, by column wise i think the definition was wrong okay so table headings can also be given using th name okay and we are we can also do cell padding guys so cell padding and cell spacing is nothing but assume inside a cell you wrote your name okay assume that you wrote hello so inside a cell how many possibilities will there will be there guys you can write to the left you can write to the right you can write to the top like here 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 in the center and you can make it bold you can make the distances between these two also like between the word and these two so this interior thing is called a cell padding guys so this interior distance between this message hello so this distances from the border to this is called as a cell padding so each of this box you can each of this record small record is called as a cell so this is one record and this is one record or cell you can say okay so you can do that padding also and you can even do cell spacing so both the meanings are same guys padding or spacing okay so you can define in this way 0 or 15 okay okay and you can even give the caption also so whenever you create a table you want to write something down but how will you write and you'll be will you use again paragraph no you can directly give caption okay so this is a small example which was uh, collected from the internet guys so table tr th month th so here we started the table and in the next page we have ended the table guys okay inside that we wrote table row we created the i'll be drawing it here only guys okay so make sure that you are writing here border equal to one pixel so that is the reason why i'm directly drawing the border okay so you started here the first row you gave the first heading as month okay and you gave the second heading as savings okay savings so after that you gave the data as january and thousand so january okay sorry for that january and thousand dollars okay so in this way the table is created so based on your question again the same concept you need to write that in our boiler code or our outline code okay okay so now let us continue with the two important concepts associated with the tables guys okay so whenever in your exam sorry for that okay so basically in your lab examinations or any kind of examinations they will be giving the call span or row span along with your question. So basically they will be doing a small trick that is nothing but here assume. Okay, so I'll be drawing the same example guys so that you will be having clear idea. So here you will wrote name, here your telephone number but here you will be writing two telephone numbers and here you will be the name. So if you observe here, here we combined two cells. So how we combined them? Is it a column span or a row span? This is a bit confusing guys. So basically this is a row right? And this is a column. So we will be thinking that okay we combined two rows. But we combined two columns guys. These two columns one cell we combined. One one cell. So that is the reason why this is called as column span. So we combined two different columns into one column. That particular cell. Okay, so we combined it, it is originally like this. So we combined these two and made it into one. So these are nothing but columns, right? So that is the reason why this is called as column span. So please, if you are remembering any way, but make sure that you are, you are remembering in the correct way. 
because if you confuse here you'll be just doing the pro the program or the code will completely go wrong guys okay okay so the example for call span so column span i told you you will be combining two columns cells so i'll be remembering this way call span means two columns you'll be two different cells you'll be combining into one okay so here we need, need a name telephone bill gates and two phone numbers okay so these are not bill gates phone numbers because i just collected this code from the net okay okay so initially you will be again doing the same process you will be writing the code in title you will be giving table okay you will be giving some title and inside body you will be writing this code so basically you will be starting with the table border one pixel so i told you to establish the border we will be doing that after that please concentrate from here guys so th name that is nothing but i made a table i created a border for it so first row i am filling i filled a name here okay so after that i called i i told call span 2 so basically here there are two columns basically but this made them both combine so this is now one cell for me so in that i wrote telephone okay so call span 2 okay now we are done with that particular row so we came to next row here i wrote bill gates here i wrote a phone number and here i wrote another number so indirectly you divided this into two parts or you divided this or you combined the about two cells into one cell okay so the same exact way in the opposite way is nothing but your row span guys. So here we will be combining two row cells. So if you observe here, so originally we should have three, but we combined these two guys. So it became one cell. That is nothing but you combined two row cells into one cell. That is the reason why it is called as a row span. Okay. So for row span, this is the code guys. So initially you will be initializing the border. You gave the name and Bill Gates as the title. And then you did a row span for the first two and you gave telephone. So first two you combined and you gave telephone. Okay. So after that in that row only you gave this and in the next line you gave this. If you notice here, whatever might be the situation, but here you gave it in this situation, in this way. If you notice here we did row span. So you combined these two rows. After that, we are still in the first row. From first row only, you combined these two rows. So you are yet to give this data, right? So you gave this data there only. After that, you came to the next row and you, and there is no possibility here because it's already combined. These two are only one. So you gave it here. Okay, so guys, don't worry about these examples. We'll be discussing one program, one or two programs from our previous year papers. Okay, so that will be clear for you. If you want me to explain, if you are confused here, so here we are doing row span of two, right? So this is the first row. I think first row is 100% clear for everyone, right? The first row we gave name and Bill Gates, two items, okay? After that, in the next row, initially you combined the two rows. So these two you combined, this line and this line you combined and make into one, okay? So you made it into one, okay? So after that, you gave the first number. Even though you combined them, you are still in the first line only, right? First row only. So you gave the number. So after that you came to the next row, you moved, you closed that row and you came to the next row. So here in the next row, you are not having here place because you combined them. So you are having only one spot, so you filled it. Okay, so I hope everyone got a clear idea on this guys. Okay, so we'll be discussing some one or two problems guys from the previous year papers. So that will be clear for you. So I hope everyone got a clear idea on these tables. So in the next lecture, we'll be going through forms. And after that, we'll be discussing some CSS and after that, we'll be solving some problems, guys. Sorry, some programs, guys. Okay. So let us meet in the next tutorial. Thank you. Thanks for watching.